time is money. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to save as much time as possible so that you can make as much money as possible. Stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark. I also do a little bit of eBay, Mercari, Amazon, FBA. I dabble in a lot of different things, but Poshmark is definitely my platform of choice. When I'm not reselling full-time in the summer, I am a high school choir director full-time during the school year, and I'm also married with two kids. So I know what it feels like to just always feel like you don't have enough time to invest in your Poshmark business, or at least as much time as you want. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you one hack to really help you save a good amount of time so that you can put that time elsewhere, whether it's listing or sourcing or doing whatever else is gonna help your reselling business grow. And so that tip that I'm about to share with you is how to create a keyboard shortcut. A few weeks ago, I shared about my strategies in running sales on Poshmark and just kind of increasing traffic and sales in general when it comes to my Poshmark business. I will link that video in one of these corners here. And one of the things that I talk about in that video is creating a keyboard shortcut. And a lot of you asked in the comment section, how do you do that? Now, in case you didn't watch that video, you might be asking yourself, what is a keyboard shortcut? In essence, a keyboard shortcut gives you the ability to spit out a huge chunk of text or small, it doesn't have to be huge, but a chunk of text when you type just a small little word or even short phrase. So if there's ever a phrase that you find yourself having to type out over and over again, whether it's while you're listing or whether it's while you're trying to contact a buyer who's liked multiple items, what have you, this is a huge time saver because you don't have to keep typing out the same phrase over and over again. All you have to do is type out that one little word and now when you do that, out comes this huge chunk of text that you no longer have to type out word for word. I'm gonna teach you in this video how to do that on an iPhone, but in case you're not an iPhone user or in case you like like to list or take care of all of your reselling business on your desktop or laptop, I will show you a Google Chrome extension called Text Blaze that actually my friend Josh from Lot of Josh talked about in the comments section in one of my last videos. So let's get right into it. When would you use keyboard shortcuts? I'll tell you about when I like to use keyboard shortcuts to help myself save time throughout the day. One example of when I like to use keyboard shortcuts is when I am listing. When I'm listing, I will write out a description of whatever it is that I wanna sell, but then at the end, I always have the same few sentences, and it's something along the lines of, you know, this item is in excellent use condition with no holes, rips, or stains, bundle with other items from my closet to get the best deal, measurements are included in the photos. Like all of that stuff is something that I put in every single description of every listing. And imagine all of the time that it takes to type out all of those words every time you are creating a listing. So rather than waste my time typing the same thing over and over and over again, what I've done is I've gone into my phone and I have created a keyboard shortcut so all I have to do is type the word item with an exclamation point at the end, and when I press the space bar after item exclamation point, out pops those three sentences. It takes like two seconds versus a whole 30 seconds or even a whole minute of my time. And when you are doing that 10, 15, 20 times a day because you're listing 10, 15, 20 items a day, it saves you a lot of time. Another example of when I like to use keyboard shortcuts is when someone comes into my closet and likes a few items. If somebody likes two or more items, I will create a bundle for that potential buyer and I walk you through how to create a bundle for a potential customer in that sales video that I talked about earlier and I'll also link it down below. In that video, I show you step by step how to create a bundle and one of the things I like to do after I've created the bundle for the potential buyer is I will leave a comment saying something along the lines of, hey, I saw that you liked a couple items in my closet. I thought I'd throw them in a bundle for you and send you an offer. Let me know what you think. Again, rather than sit there and type all of that stuff out over and over and over again throughout the course of the day, I have created a keyboard shortcut. I believe the little phrase that I programmed for that spiel is DIS for discount. So I know that all I have to do is type DIS and then spacebar and out comes those two or three sentences that I want to be able to say to my potential customer. Again, huge time saver. 
Another example of when I will create keyboard shortcuts are if I'm running a sale and I want to let my potential buyer know, hey, I saw that you liked an item, I wanted to let you know that right now I'm having a sale. Those are probably the three main times that I utilize keyboard shortcuts are when I'm listing, when someone likes a few items and I create a bundle for them, or when I'm having a sale. Now one more example of a time when I have created a keyboard shortcut was when I went out of town for a few days and I didn't want to go on vacation mode because I wasn't really going to be gone that long, but it was long enough that I wanted to make sure that my customers knew that there was going to be a few days before their items were shipped out. So I created a keyboard shortcut and I think it was just NYC because I was in New York City. So it was like NYC with an exclamation point and the reason for that was once someone made a purchase when I was out of town, I wanted to let them know, hey, thank you for your purchase I wanted to let you know that it's gonna be three days before I can ship this out is that okay if not feel free to cancel so that's another spiel that I didn't want to have to keep typing over and over again and I just created a shortcut even though I wouldn't have to type that out that many times it was enough times that I thought it was well worth it to just go ahead and create that little shortcut now one tip I do have for you when you're creating keyboard shortcuts is to be really mindful of what words you are using to program into your phone as the word that will spit out the rest of the phrase. Let me give you an example. So when I was trying to create a keyboard shortcut for a block of text that would read something along the lines of, hey, I saw that you liked these items. I wanted to go ahead and send you this offer as well as free shipping. And the word that I used to program that block of text was the word free with an exclamation point at the end. Now the problem with that is that there are times when I am texting or when I'm writing an email when I will write the word free with an exclamation point at the end, maybe that's just like the last word in a sentence or something, and I would do that and all of a sudden these two or three sentences about free shipping and this discounted offer or whatever would spit out, but it wouldn't be within the comment section of a Poshmark bundle. It would just be like while I was texting my friend or something. And I can't tell you how many times I've actually accidentally texted people with those blocks of text that are meant for Poshmark bundles. I just happened to accidentally send it to my friend because that word or that phrase was programmed into my phone to do that. So when you're thinking about what word you want to program into your phone to take the place of a larger block of text, make sure that it's not something that shows up in your everyday speech. Or maybe just put like a special character at the end of that word. In my example of the word free, instead of using an exclamation point at the end, maybe I could have used an asterisk or the number two or something like that. Something that I'm not accidentally going to type out while I'm texting someone or emailing. But now that you have a general idea of what keyboard shortcuts are and when you would use them, as well as a tip on how to create a good keyword so that you're not accidentally sending people random blocks of text while you're texting and emailing, let me go ahead and show you how to create a keyboard shortcut on your iPhone. All right, so here we are on my phone and I'm gonna go ahead and press the settings icon. And once I do that, if I scroll down a bit, I'm going to see the general icon. And once I press that, it will take me into the keyboard section of my phone. There it is right below date and time. So I press keyboard and now you can see where it says text replacement. That's where we wanna go in order to create our keyboard shortcuts. So here you can see a bunch of different keyboard shortcuts that I've already created. And in the right hand corner, there is a plus sign. We're gonna press that. And that is going to take us to the section where we are able to create a new text replacement or keyboard shortcut. So there are two things you have to create. One is the phrase and one is the shortcut. The phrase is the sentences or the longer phrase or whatever it is that you type over and over again. So here you see me typing, thank you for your purchase. I'm creating some sort of phrase for when people make a purchase and I want to just shoot them a nice little thank you note right after they make the purchase and rather than having to type that out over and over again, I create a keyboard shortcut. One thing to note about the keyboard shortcut is that you have to type everything correctly yourself. You have to put in every single capital letter, you have to put in every single period. If you're used to just kind of being able to like double space for your periods or to have your phone automatically capitalize things for you, it won't do that here and it also won't spell check. So now I'm going to create a shortcut for that phrase and this is the little thing that I'm going to type in order to get that phrase to spit out. So I'm deciding to do TY 
for thank you. And then I'm going to end that with the and sign. Nope, I'm not because I've done that already. I've already actually created this shortcut. So I'm going to actually do for the sake of this tutorial, ty dash. And you can see the ty dash in my menu of keyboard shortcuts that I've created already. Now I'm going to go ahead and take you into notes so that I can try this out and show you exactly what it looks like. So here we go. I'm going to type ty dash and I'm going to press the space bar. And before I press the space bar, it shows you what will happen if I press the space bar. And there you have it. Now let's talk about text blaze really quickly. I personally don't use text blaze just because I haven't even put it on my computer yet. You're going to see me doing that with you actually. But the reason why text blaze sounds really interesting to me is because it seems like it's something very similar to keyboard shortcuts, but instead you're able to do it on your computer. It is a free Google Chrome extension, which means you do have to use Google Chrome as your browser. You download it to your computer and it will allow you to create very Similarly to keyboard shortcuts, it'll allow you to create text replacements on your computer so that if you are typing the same few sentences over and over and over again on your computer, whether it's because you're listing or because you are creating bundles for potential customers, you can do the same thing where you are identifying one word or one phrase as the text expander. So you'll program a larger phrase or two or three sentences into this one word. And as soon as you type that word with like little special characters around it, and then out will pop the two or three sentences that you want to type out, but you didn't have to take all the time it usually takes to type out those sentences. An example that TextBlaze gives on their website is if you are one of those people that in your emails you always have the same signature, it's like your name and then your phone number, your email, your address maybe, what have you. The example that they give is programming that into the word SIG and so every time you type the word SIG out will pop your whole email signature so that you don't have to sit there and type it out over and over and over again. So let's get into watching how to one, download the Chrome extension to your computer, and two, how to use it. I've typed TextBlaze into my Google search bar and you can see the website right here. And automatically on the right, there's an option to add to Chrome. And here I am, I'm gonna accept the download. And what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna get this nice little extension every time I use Google Chrome to utilize text, what is this? TextBlaze, I was about to call it Text Expander. Just a friendly reminder that because TextBlaze is a Google Chrome extension, you have to be using Google Chrome as your browser if you want to utilize the features of TextBlaze. So it did take a little bit of time in order to download the extension, and I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through all of that. You're going to create a login, and I didn't realize that in blue, that big bar up on top, it says login with Google. So you see me try to type in my email address and the wrong password, and then finally I figure out, oh, you can just sign up with Google. So I go ahead and do that. What you don't see is me actually select my Gmail account, and that's because I did have the email addresses of some of my students also on that list of different email addresses that had been used recently. So here you're going to see kind of a tutorial from TextBlaze on how to create your text expanders or your keyboard shortcuts. And I'm kind of breezing through the tutorial a little bit because that's something that you should do on your own. But what you'll notice on the left is one big blue circle with a plus sign and then a littler littler? Is that a word? <laughs> and, and then a smaller blue circle next to it. And those are kind of important. So if you look at the middle now of the screen, you'll see it says welcome to text blaze. And below that they kind of have like a practice area. So you're going to see me mess around with using some of the default settings that they have to put in things like the date. But let's shift our focus back again to the two blue circles in the top left corner. The smaller one allows you to create a snippet folder or a snippet group. And I think that this is for people who perhaps have different snippets that they're creating for different arenas of their life. So for myself, I could have one for Poshmark, I could have one for work, I could have one for my personal life. So I just went ahead and created a folder called Poshmark. And then you see me trying to like fumble around and figure out how to create a snippet within the Poshmark folder. And that is accomplished by pressing the bigger plus sign blue circle. 
So right now you see me typing out a series of sentences to a potential customer, thanking them for visiting my closet, liking a few items, and letting them know that I want to offer them free shipping as well as this discounted price. The problem is this is not the section where you're supposed to write that phrase. That's actually supposed to go down in that bigger text box below. This is where you're supposed to just create a description of what this keyboard shortcut is and you'll see me go back in and change that once I figure out that I made that mistake. Like I said, I didn't really know what I was doing when I was messing around with this Chrome extension for the first time because it was my first time. But you see me label the shortcut as free ship and there is like that backslash, is that what it's called? That symbol in front of it. And then you see me go ahead and copy and paste what I had originally intended to be the block of text that I wanted to replace and in the description I labeled it free shipping and that's enough to let me know what this particular snippet is for. And now they give you this option to publish and share a snippet copy. I didn't want to publish mine to the web just because it's specific to me and I don't think that there are very many other people in the world who would benefit from my snippet that I've created. And also I just don't really know if I'm going to be on TextBlaze a whole lot after creating this tutorial. I'm just creating it for you guys. So I didn't make it public. I've opened up a blank email again using Google Chrome because that is the browser that you need to use in order to utilize TextBlaze. And you saw me type in the word free ship with that back, back, whatever it's called with that thing in front of it and out popped the phrase, out popped those couple of sentences. So you can see exactly how that works. And I believe that you have to type the word and then the space bar and out pops your phrase. All right, guys, I hope that you have found this information helpful and I hope that it helps you save a ton of time so that you can spend that time doing other things for your reselling business. If you like this video, if you found the content helpful, please make sure that you hit that like button. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel for more tips on how to succeed on Poshmark and other reselling platforms. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.